Sudair so al-Sayrafi was one of the companions of Imam al-Sadiq Sudair so says, one day we went to visit Imam al-Sadiq. We entered his room and we saw him on the ground crying like a mother who's lost her child. We were shocked, baffled. What happened? Did someone die? Did a family member die of the Imam? And he was crying so excessively. He says we approached him and we heard him saying words. And he said the following words. Sayyidi ghaybatuka nafat ruqadi wa dayyaqat alayya mihadi wa abtazzat minni rahat fuad. My master, your ghayba, your absence has made me restless. I cannot sleep. Sayyidi ghaybatuka awsalat musabi bifajai al-abad. Sayyidi, my master, your ghayba has made my sorrow eternal. وفقد الواحد بعد الأحد فلا أرى دمعة ترقأ من عيني. I cannot hold my tears anymore. Sudair is shocked. What's going on? When the Imam finished, he calmed down. Sudair asked the Imam, Imam, what are you crying over? Who's Ghayba? And Imam Sadiq tells him, Just now, I was looking into the book of Ali ibn Abi Talib. The Imams had a special book given to them by Allah that revealed things that would happen in the future. He says, I looked in the book of Ali, in the book of Jafr, according to one hadith, and I saw the ghayba of my grandson, the Mahdi, and how the difficulties will be. And I saw how in the morning, a Shia will wake up with faith. By the night, they've lost their iman. And this has made me restless, and I am crying for that ghayba. See, Al-Imam Al-Sadiq, 100 years before the birth of the Mahdi, he cries for our time. What do you think is happening to Al-Imam Al-Mahdi now? What's his state? In what condition is he? And that generates a lot of pain in the heart of the Imam And we need to appreciate the Imam that we have, who is so concerned about us. The Imam writes in a letter, We forget to remember our Imam sometimes. But the Imam says, I never forget you. The Imam says, if it weren't for our compassion for you, the followers of Ahlul Bayt, your enemies would have uprooted you. You would not have stayed in history. This is the Imam that we have. But look at the Shia world today. Do we have that genuine love for the Imam? Do we try to even feel what he's going through?